you're one of the many people who uses expensive pills, lotions or potions to deal with acne, eczema or psoriasis with little to no improvement, then what I'm about to share in this video is going to make your day. Hi, I'm Leah and this is The Thrive Practice, a shiny beacon in a health landscape mired by confusion and misinformation. According to the British Skin Foundation, 60% of Brits currently suffer or have suffered at some point in their lifetime with a skin condition and a whopping 70% currently have a visible scar or skin condition that affects their confidence. Acne, psoriasis and eczema are some of the most common inflammatory skin conditions. Taking acne, for instance, it affects more women than men and according to the NHS, 95% of people aged 11 to 30 will at some point experience acne to some extent. Most people experience acne in puberty and it usually lasts up until the mid-twenties, but private clinics have recently reported a 200% increase in the number of adults seeking specialist acne treatment. Psoriasis affects 2% of the UK population and causes red, flaky, crusty patches of skin covered with silvery scales. It's a condition that affects men and women equally and can start at any age, but is most often seen in those under the age of 35. Around one in five children and 1.6 million adults live with eczema in the UK. And for many of these adults, they've experienced the condition since childhood. Some children eventually grow out of the condition. I am one of those fortunate souls, but for many, including me, the damage had already been done. I was left with unsightly scars behind my knees that persist to this day and really for a very long time prevented me from wearing anything that put my legs on show. And eczema can seriously affect the daily lives of sufferers, with 58% reporting that the condition affected their personal relationship, over 70% feeling depressed as a result of the condition, and 73% saying their social lives were impacted. So what's the gut got to do with any of this? Well, the human body is a highly interconnected system. Everything is connected, and a healthy, happy gut is connected to everything with less than six degrees of separation. Which is why healing the gut very often solves these problems. That's because inflammation in the gut can very easily spread to different parts of the body. The link between acne and the gut goes back at least 80 years with dermatologists Stokes and Pillsbury suggesting that depression and anxiety could alter the normal balance of gut bacteria, increasing intestinal permeability and contributing to systemic inflammation. Researchers have since gone on to find distinct differences in the microbial diversity of people with acne and those who do not have acne. These changes included lower numbers of firmicutes, higher numbers of bacteriodites phylum, and some specific bacterial deletions. All of this has led researchers to conclude that people with acne have gut dysbiosis. So here are five gut restoration tips to help you clear your skin. Firstly, take a look at what you're letting in. Now, all the conditions that we've spoken about here today are all inflammatory, and we know that there's quite a lot of interplay between the skin, the environment, and the immune system. So start by removing the foods that you know you're intolerant or sensitive to. You might also want to consider keeping a food diary so you can start to unpick any unsuspecting um, food reactions. You'll also want to remember that sugar is very inflammatory and it will also upset the balance of bacteria within your gut. Once you've wiped the slate clean by getting rid of all the bad stuff, it's time to get the good stuff in. And that's step two. And the good stuff includes foods that are rich in phytonutrients, antioxidants, omega-3 fats and fibre. And it's also really important that you stay hydrated and provide the good bacteria in your gut with the prebiotics that they need. And speaking of good bacteria, you want to make sure that you're sowing good bacterial seeds. And to do this, you want to be eating things like kimchi, sauerkraut and hot pepper sauce, which are fermented foods. You can also look into probiotic supplements too. Step four is all about supporting the integrity of the gut wall. No amount of getting the good stuff in and harmonizing the populations of bacteria in your gut is going to make the blindest bit of difference if your gut isn't functioning properly because it's damaged. L-glutamine and aloe vera are particularly useful in supporting the integrity. And finally, you want to find your new normal by rebalancing your lifestyle for a healthier, happier life. Remember, it isn't just food that promotes inflammation in the body. And in fact, there are plenty of lifestyle habits that we all subscribe to at some point in our lives that can enhance and induce inflammation within the body. 
you want to make sure as much as possible to reduce these. And this is the channel to help you find your new normal. We're all about health improvement, science facts and lifestyle hacks to make healthy living a breeze. And if that sounds right up your street, then subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever we release a new video. If you want to know more about inflammation in general, gut inflammation more specifically, and how it can spread beyond the borders of the gut, then you'll want to watch this video. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.